The new victim Virginia played by Barbara Crampton as well as the new map The Mill are finally here and here is everything you need to know. Virginia is a new victim that can be purchased for $9.99. She is a mother in desperate search of her son that unfortunately runs into the family. She released today with various cosmetics and Barbara Crampton herself teased this bathing suit image. So I would guess we might get a pack of these that release during summertime, which is something to look forward to. Her main ability boon allows her to blind family members and poison blood buckets. Here's what it looks like to throw the poison, and here's what it looks like to be poisoned. It's not a disoriented type of look that I was expecting, it's more like a full flashbang. It is definitely really good, and on top of that, when upgraded, you can increase the durations, as well as an upgrade that takes away the family blood completely. If you have that ability on, when the family runs into the smoke, the blood that they are carrying will deplete from wherever it's at to nothing. If you were one Wondering, hmm, that sounds OP. That's because it probably is. It is probably something that will be nerfed eventually. Before we get into the mill, which I loved by the way, let's go over Virginia's unique perks. Her first perk, Cogulant, 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 something like that, drains 20% of the blood being carried by any family member who enters it. Now I think this is the perk that should have been on the ability upgrade tree, and we'll just make it much more balanced. I think we'll see that integration eventually, by eventually I mean 3 months from now probably. Next we have protective aura, which makes it so that while above 80% health, close by teammates will take 20% less damage. I don't see this perk really being anything that great, but I guess we'll see, at least it's nothing too OP. Finally, trace chemicals allows you to see highlighted powder stations. I highly recommend new Virginia players that don't have experience with sissy use this in the beginning to get used to finding those powder stations. If not, you won't even be able to use Virginia's ability. The mill was great, I finally got to jump through that office window, which I do not recommend doing. You have your usual exits, but of course the map just has an entire different layout. I really do love the vibes and can see it being one of my favorite maps. And of course, the best part is that it's free for everyone. You have your typical exits, valve, car battery, fuse, and engine. I did not see a new exit type, but let me know if anyone has found one. I haven't seen anything yet, and it's had some time for someone to find one. The map does seem like it will be in favor of the victims due to its massive size and opportunities to well and get through gaps, but overall I love how the map feels. Now in terms of if Virginia is worth it, as of now, no. Not at all. Why? Because the lobby situation is terrible, it took me over 30 minutes to get my first game as victim today and it was annoying. It does seem like they did increase the odds for the mill, as I was getting it very frequently. So at least there is that, but if you plan on paying $10 to play as Virginia, it will be rough for you. Especially because some people already think she's too OP, family members are already lobby dodging when they see somebody queued up as her. On top of that, everyone is trying to get the new map, so it will be rough trying to get any games in with Virginia on the mill. If you guys do want to run any type of custom lobbies on the mill, make sure to check out the Discord in the description. We got a few people who may want to run some lobbies later so we don't have to worry about the stupid queues. On top of that there are many other bugs related with Virginia that I'm sure will be resolved after some time. I still think the DLC just proves that TCM is just a cash grab where the devs took the title and ran with the opportunity to make as much money as possible not caring about the actual game. Or else they wouldn't be charging $10 for an already $40 game for a character that we can only play with once every hour. The lobby dodging is no longer a player issue, it's a game issue. Of course people who spend $10 on a character are going to want to play as them and lobby dodge until they get them. And of course family mains will keep dodging until they get the new map or they will dodge because they don't want to play against a new character that they feel is pay to win. Make sure to subscribe to stay updated on TCM news like this. I will post gameplay videos related to Virginia later on. If they're up you can see them here. Till next time, love ya, see ya.